Well, it is Thursday. That means we have a vet on hand to answer your pet questions. So if you have a problem with your pet, give us a call. Right now, the number is 918-460-KJRH. We have Dr. Joe Landers here to answer all your questions. Before we get to those, we want to introduce you to Carmen. Yeah. Carmen is a sweetheart. She really is a sweetheart. She's probably a min pin, and I think she's kind of cross because she's a little bit taller and bigger. But this is... Uh, uh, I uh, told people, I was, I was telling somebody that she could probably be an apartment min pin. Usually min pins are pretty active. Yeah. Uh, and this is it. Uh, she sits calm. up with the receptionist in the afternoon and just sits on their chair up there. And she's very, very calm. Yeah. Uh, full disclosure, she gets a little car sick. So that's, we'll have to fix that with a little Dramamine or whatever. But this is, uh, this is about, about nice. excited as she gets. Well. So and she's about a year and a half old. She's okay. over at Arrow Springs. Uh, no one's claimed her yet, so I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping that home. she. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, and that's nine one eight four five five seven one zero seven. Okay, so. Carmen can be yours. All right, we have lots of callers. First, we have a uh, Sharina in Miami. Good morning, Sharina. What's your question? Good morning. Um, I have a eleven year old pit bull, and mm -hmm. she has developed these masses yes. on her body, and yep. it's getting to the point where I have to help her up on the bed. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I don't know if I should put her down or. Well, that's always kind of a hard decision. What I would tell you is the first thing is, you know, a lot of times veterinarians, uh, with especially masses that are on the on the skin or whatever, we can put a little needle in it. It sounds painful. They usually do pretty well with it and uh, try to figure out what those masses are and if they're related. Uh, sometimes they have little fatty masses, which honestly are nothing. And then sometimes they'll have, uh, there's things like mast cell tumors and lymphomas and things that can be treated a little bit with and, and, and not necessarily real, uh, I mean, you may not, may not cure some cancer or something, but then, uh, and real quickly, we talk about quality of life. A lot of times with people, we talk about that, at, that extending that their life may not be the right decision. Mm -hmm. So that's something you and your veterinarian need to kind of get together and talk about yeah. a little bit because that's that's something that's kind of important. It's always so. a tough decision it to really make is. for any it pet really owner, is. though. I, I don't like this aging no. thing. All right, next we have Bruce in Claremore. Bruce, good morning. What's your question? Uh, yeah, Hi. I got a question. I got a four-month-old chihuahua, uh -huh. and uh, he had... Uh, I got him uh, some toys so he wouldn't chew on the carpet, you know? Yes. But he still uh, likes to chew those strings of <laughs> the carpet. And Absolutely. Those are just the best, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so don't plan on new carpet for a little while. Yeah. What I always tell people is a lot of times around four to six months, they hit their teenage years, which are truly where they love to chew on everything and kind of experiment. I'll tell people you, you, you do need to reprimand them, but give them their toys and really watch them really closely. Sometimes there's a thing called a shake can. We'll put a couple of coins in a Coke can, put, a, put some tape over the top and kind of shake it when they go to eat, eat something they shouldn't. Uh, the only time I get really, 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 really mad is at them and really try to scare them is like when they chew on electrical cords. Those mm -hmm. are very dangerous, obviously. But most of the time, it's keep guiding, keep guiding. Uh, it's okay to give them a time out. You know, sometimes, and we, with our bulldog when she was young, you know, finally we just we'd put her in her crate. We just time out. We were like, okay, you know, she's <laughs> chewed on everything for hours yes. and hours, and she keeps saying no, and and she thought her name was no, you know, and it's just it's after a while it, it does. So the, those those type of deals redirecting and just being on her really well but but it'll be another oh, six yeah. months or so maybe even you know 12 before they really kind of calm down i think so. we're going through the teenage years right now yes. with with our dog <laughs> it could be trying it, it is all it right is. we are out of time yep. for questions today hey if you're interested in adopting carmen you can call animal aid at 918-744-8280 or log on to animalaid.org and dr landers is here every thursday to answer your pet questions so if you missed any of today's segment or if you'd like to see part of it again just go to kj rh.com click on the lifestyle tab and to learn more about other pets who need homes and to find out about Heritage Veterinary Hospital it's all right there at kjrh.com thanks